hello everyone now we are here to find out the solution of this question here in this question it is described that you have to find out the magnitude and the direction of i cap plus of j cap right so how to find out the magnitude let at first we are just assigning it as a vector and it is equals to i cap plus of j cap and the magnitude of this vector that is equals to under root of the coefficient of i cap that is 1 with the whole square plus of the coefficient of j cap that is also 1 with the whole square now it is having a magnitude of root 2 now we have to find out the direction so how can i find out that let we are just drawing the axis right there's a this is our x axis this is y and this is the z axis now along the x axis we having the unit vector that is of i cap along the y axis we are having j cap and along the z axis we are having k cap now in this case in the given example we are just assuming that the vector suppose the vector is residing at this position we are just assuming that and that a vector is having some angle of theta with the x axis suppose for this case what will be the direction if the vector that is a is having some angle of theta with the x axis that means it is having an angle of theta with i cap now we will find out the dot product with it what will be the dot product that is of i cap plus of j cap dot of i cap right now according to the rule of dot product what do you know that dot product of two vectors that is equals to the magnitude of this vector that is of root 2 multiplied by the magnitude of this vector that is equals to 1 multiplied by cos theta i hope you guys have not forget it now what will be the dot product that is equals to 1 i think that is of i dot i that is equals to 1 and i dot j that is equals to 0 and it is equals to root 2 cos theta now cos theta that is equals to 1 by root 2 if cos theta is equals to 1 by root 2 then cos theta that is equals to we can write it is the value of cos 45 and theta is having the value of 45 degree with the no, no, x no, axis no, no, right no, now in this way we can find out the direction of this vector right if you are having some problem in understanding the solution then just tell me in the group okay